Good morning, everyone. Uh, today is Monday, November 4th at 7.15 a.m. Uh, doing another video watch list uh, for everyone. So this is Monday, so every Monday I put out this video watch list for free on YouTube, but usually every other day uh, the MIC members get this for free included. So if you are curious about trading or you kind of want to just get some more information, me and Bao put together a free two-hour course for non-members, it's at myinvestingclub.co. You just reserve your seat, put in your email, put in your information, and then you get this free course. All right, let's go to the uh, watch list. So CHFS um, tanked on Friday. I had a big move in the morning, and then midday just kind of really gave it up. All pops were sold, stayed under VWAP. So on a scenario like this, I am looking for a pop towards these resistance levels that I'm drawing. So ideally, what I'm looking for is I want to scale in on these pops with some fantasy orders. And on a scenario like this, sometimes when the stock is red, uh, I like to kind of short it if there's more room to the downside. But again, like we've talked about in the past, some of these small companies uh, want to have a $1 minimum bid to stay listed. And you know, it's 123. So maybe best case scenario, you're gonna make 20 cents if you do exactly everything right, which is a lot tougher. So ideally we wanna pop on this, and if it doesn't pop, we're not gonna take a trade on it. IC is another one. Um, this one's kind of been giving trouble to a lot of people. Uh, it's just kind of really been holding trend, kind of looks like a double top here. But basically the trade that I'm looking for on this is relatively simple. I want to see a push towards this $4 mark, take a short trade here, and ideally the plan would be if it holds above, you know, this 415, 420 level that I'll get out. But if it kind of pushes here and fails, I'll have a starter, then I could add to my winner and then I could size in once the stock goes red. If the stock opens red, right, and it washes out to 360 or 350, my plan was gonna be to short like a 370, 375 push with like a 385 stop. And then if it pushes up and then fails, I can always get back in. So I'm trying to take the trade here that has the least amount of risk because this has been extremely difficult lately. BIMI, uh, the stock tanked uh, last week. No real entries uh, to be able to get on it. I mean, in a perfect world, we get a push towards this 530 level. So I'm going to have some fantasy orders, you know, 520s, 530s. And that's ideally going to be it. It already looks like it's opening up red. Again, this is not something that I would chase because it looks like it has some support down here. So just kind of patiently waiting on that one. And last but not least is the CEI. So CEI is a former runner. It's a reverse split dilution turd company. Um, these are the companies that uh, like to go crazy because the float is so low. Uh, looking at the daily chart, it's reverse split. So, I mean, this is uh, a chat room pump and dump target. This is the type of stock that these furus try to buy up and try to manipulate the price and stuff like that. So uh, because the float is so low and because uh, it's just a recent reverse split, we don't wanna be too early shorting this. We want to wait until it breaks trend like CHFS, right? As soon as it breaks trend like this, then we have every single pop to short. So the key on CEI is just to wait for it to break trend let it tank, let it tank the four bucks and then bounce to 450 and we'll short that bounce rather than trying to short some here and then covering at five. So today's gonna be an interesting day. Usually when we have a runner on Monday, it sets the tone for the entire week. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, that's it.